All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, what I want to talk about is something that may piss some people off. And I hope it does not piss you guys off. It's watching this, but it probably will piss some people off. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about this KLR right here, for instance, okay? I see a lot of people with these kind of motorcycles. Uh, not so much the people that I'm subscribed to and watch, but a lot of people, just in general, like, uh, that I see riding around. You know, their bikes are shiny. Kind of like people that buy these nice trucks, jack them all up, put these big tires on them, and then they don't ever take them off-road. I don't understand that. But, you know, I'm on this trail right here, and, you know, I'm riding, and uh, I'm getting ready to go through some mud here in a second. So, I wasn't planning on doing any video, but I thought, you know what, come out here. And, uh... It is hot. I'm riding my riding gear now because um, I'm getting ready to uh, go back to the main road. So, but these people that buy these bikes and never take them off road, never take them in the mud, never take them off into the gravel. I just it blows my mind. Why even buy a bike like this? You know. All right, here goes the mud. Hopefully, we make it through without. Oh yeah. Woo. Yeah, that's very slippery mud. But you know. Now I'm muddy and my feet are wet. <laughs> I just, I don't understand, you know, what is the purpose? I mean, yeah, the bikes are cool, but if you're going to, if you want the coolness, just get a damn Harley or a crotch rocket or something. But anyway, that's my little rant for today. I figured I'd just uh, come on here real quick and uh, talk about that. You know, do you guys have a bike that you take off road? You take your street bike off road? I don't know. I mean, I just wonder that. So, another thing I need to do, and I saw this on a buddy of mine, Ron, Ch Ron C's channel, is I'm on these roads right here, and I am lacking a toolkit other than the one that come with the bike. I don't have an extra tube, <laughs> a patch kit, a pump, anything. So if I was to get a flat tire or whatever, I'm pretty well screwed. I'll be doing a lot of walking, which, you know, ain't too bad, I guess. Walking's good for you. But, yeah, I the reason why I come on here and, and, I, and I say what I said about the um, KLR or any, any bike, any adventure bike, off-road bike, is because I, I filled up with gas this morning and I was at a gas station and uh, these three guys pulled in <clears throat> with the KLR and they had all this nice riding gear on and they asked me, you know, uh, where I was going. So I, I, first I really didn't know. Kind of was just going for a little spin. And uh, I told them I was probably going to go, you know, off Hatcher Road or, you know, Big Ridge Road. And because they weren't from around here, so they didn't know. They said, was that hardtop or is it gravel? And I said, as you can see, you can probably hear, it's uh this road is a little bit of both and it's muddy so i told them all that and they was like uh oh you take your bike off road like that and i said yeah don't y'all no yeah we, uh, we just only gravel that's it i was like wow i didn't say anything to them but they were older than me i'd say they're probably close to 50 ish so they said they've been riding pretty much all their life so i don't know if they had been in the you know, if they have like a Harley or something beforehand, I don't know. Just, I don't know why they'd have a bike like this if they're not going to take, take it off-road. Any chance I get to go off-road, I'm off it. You know, and another thing is, uh, there are places that I do not take my bike yet. I, I may eventually, but uh, I was literally killed myself on a four-wheeler, uh, climbing real steep hills, and uh, I was in the hospital and everything, but that's another story. And, uh, so I'm kind of weary about going up hills. I know most that is a lot easier to get off of than a four-wheeler when you're going up a steep hill and shit hits the fan. But at the same time, I still, I st every time I go up a steep, steep hill and my tire starts spinning and I'm not going too, you know, like I should be, 
that mind flashes or that picture flashes back in my mind and uh it wasn't a good time another place i really really two other places basically the same thing i don't like taking mine is uh in mud holes <laughs> which i probably will never do ever and uh unless i become super rich and i can just afford to drop ten thousand dollars on a brand new one if i need to or uh i say that here comes a little mud hole um i ain't talking about mud holes like that i'm talking about where you really gotta you know you're buried i'm not i'm not doing that but and another place, uh, well, basically, it's, and another place is uh, where there's a lot of deep ruts. Like, for instance, this road's not bad, but uh, when there's deep, deep ruts, I don't enjoy riding anywhere through any deep ruts because I'm not that excellent of a rider, and uh, I'm just not okay. Uh, going through those ruts and hoping that ooh, go down this road uh hoping that i make it all right so that's all i want to say guys i just want to know uh if you have an adventure bike do you take yours off road and uh you know how you feel about how do you feel about doing it so, oh damn i didn't even see that anyway guys uh if you like what you see here like and subscribe god bless and we will see you on the next one. Have a great day, guys.